Ow! <laughs> I touched the goop. I touched the goop, the goop's too hot. <laughs> How do I jazz up a pot pie recipe to impress my guests? Betty Crocker's answer, little chicken dinners. I'm Melinda and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. Today we are making Little Chicken Dinners, which is from section H, Entertaining on a Shoestring, card number three. When I saw this card, I thought, oh my God, this is so dramatic. I love it. There's little chickens on top of the individual chicken pot pies. They're little chicken dinners. Do you get it? They're little chicken dinners. There's little chickens on top. I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna have a difficult time making them. <laughs> But you know, we have to be confident. Um, we're using the uh, pie crust mix, of course. If you've watched this channel before, you know that I struggle to use that a lot, but we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling good about it. We just gotta make our little chickens and then we'll make a you know chicken and sausage pot pie filling and then put the little pot pie on top, bake it. They're gonna be really cute, right? As long as they don't go terribly wrong. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, so my first step is to prepare the pastry rounds and the mini chickens. So we're using Betty Crocker's pie crust mix. And uh, we're just gonna hope for the best here. I've had a lot of trouble with this, but I've started to find my way. I think I just need to use a lot of extra flour and take it slow and we'll get there. We'll get there. Put that into the bowl. All right, so we have a third of a cup of water going into our pie crust mix. And it says to stir until pastry forms a ball. Okay, okay. Here we go. I don't see a ball yet. At a certain point where I just get in there with my hands. And that point is now. <laughs> I've made the mistake of adding too much water because I'm like, oh, it's not coming together. And so I add more water and then it's too much, it's too wet. So you gotta trust the process. We've got our dough. The dough has formed. Get every last inch in here. Come on. Now we need a floured surface. Flour, 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 flour. And I'm gonna flour the dough. Uh, roll an eighth of an inch thick, okay. Now I'm not supposed to do this in one piece. Maybe I'm supposed to do it in two. I think I'll be smarter if I do it in two. I just think that will go better. We're rolling, we're rolling. Things are going well. An eighth of an inch, what's that? We don't know. It's sticking a little bit, but that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Let's start by getting our pastry rounds out of this. This is the vessel that our little mini pot pies will go into. It says it needs to be two inches wider than this. So if I put this here, Okay, so I'm gonna go, let's see. Two inches wider? That's a lot. I don't have that much, I don't have that much bandwidth. I'm gonna go an inch wider. And you know what, maybe we'll only make four instead of six. Okay. <laughs> I have one pastry round and it's not perfect, but I didn't expect it to be. I guess I'm just gonna keep making pastry rounds and then we'll make the chickens at the end. I just wanna make sure I have enough dough for enough for the pastry rounds and the chickens is the problem. That's what I'm worried about. And then you're using your leftover crumbled up dough for the chickens. I believe this recipe requires more precision than I am capable of. I don't like doing things very precisely. <laughs> Let's just keep making rounds. We'll keep making rounds. All right, I have my six pastry rounds and now we're gonna make the chickens, which I need to roll out to a quarter inch thick with this remaining pie dough. Don't stick. We're in the final home stretch here. You want them to be thicker, I presume, so that they don't break in the oven. You want them to be sturdy. It feels like a quarter to me. I don't know if I'm gonna get six chickens out of this though. That was my worry. I wasn't gonna have enough dough. Okay, we definitely wanna do one of these guys. 
a rooster. Like this shape is not giving chicken, it's kind of giving like a ghost or something. Ooh, or a rainbow <laughs> or a shooting star. See that shooting star or like a cat? I don't know. Maybe we stick with the, these chickens. Let's see how many I could fit here. Six, ha ha. Maybe I'll make a couple extras if I can get enough extra out of these scraps just in case one of them breaks or something. All right, now it says to place each chicken shape on an ungreased baking sheet. Baking, baking sheet? I found a typo. On an ungreased baking, baking sheet. <laughs> Insert wooden pick into each chicken, bake 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna put a little toothpick in each chicken. I assume that this is how it holds its shape while it's baking and also um, how you like kind of insert it into the pot pie when it's done. So I'm trying to make sure that it's in the center of the dough and maybe that far in. This is the hardest part. If we could get these chickens to come out good, everything else is gonna be just fine. All right, let's get these in the oven. All right, the first ingredient in our chicken pot pies is sausage for some reason. <laughs> I've been instructed to make one inch balls of sausage. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have some sweet Italian sausage here and I'm just gonna make some balls. This kind of reminds me of when I made that like sweet and sour sauce, pineapple meatball situation a few months ago. I made these tiny little meatballs and they turned out really good. I hope these sausage ones turn out good too. I can't go too big because the ramekins aren't that big. Like I know these are gonna shrink a little bit, but I'm worried. I don't really know what a, a, a meat, a sausage meatball is, is doing in a chicken pot pie. I could see like kind of browning the sausage so that there's like little sausage bits. All right, let's take these over to the stove and start to brown them. All right, let's get the heat cranking on our skillet here. And uh, we're gonna put these little meatballs in, I guess. I don't know, what's going on? In a medium skillet, brown balls, remove and drain. Okay, here they go. Sizzling, they're sizzling. All right, just gotta cook these guys through till they're brown. All right, so our sausage meatballs are nice and brown, so I'm gonna take them off the heat. Cuties. Okay, now we're gonna put some butter in the pan and we're gonna make a roux for the base of our cream sauce. We have a lot of liquids going into the sauce. I feel like we're gonna have too much sauce, but that is kind of the point of the chicken pot pie, right? It's a nice saucy dish. Now that the butter is melted, we're going in with some salt and some flour. And I'm gonna switch to my spatula. We're gonna try to get a roux going here. The butter is starting to like toast over the heat and it smells really good. Okay, now we're stirring in some light Cream. You have to move slow here. I'm gonna take the heat off for a second. Kind of get that roux to incorporate with the cream. It'd be easier to do this with a whisk, but I don't wanna scratch my pan <laughs> with a metal whisk. So this is what we're doing. Okay, now we have two cups of chicken stock going in. All right, our sauce is starting to boil, so I'm gonna add in the canned mushrooms. Yum! <laughs> Get those stirred in. We're supposed to let it boil for a minute. I don't want it to be too thin of a sauce, you know? Although it will still continue to thicken when we bake. All right, I think our sauce is ready, so let's go ahead and assemble. All right, let's assemble these little pies. <laughs> Where to begin? Where to begin? Okay, so we have our ramekin here. Do I have to grease this? Ungreased? 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 Okay. Divide chicken, sausage, and sauce into ungreased individual baking dishes. Okay, so I have my sausages. I think some of these ramekins will get three and some will get two because we have 16 total. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the sausage crumbles. And if we had crumbled this sausage, I would have been able to divide it evenly. <laughs> Instead, you're gonna get three bites of sausage in every ramekin. Now I have some cooked, cut up chicken. And again, we're just gonna divide this 
amongst the bowls. Now, here comes the scary part. <laughs> now, I'm gonna take a scoop of our goop and put some into each ramekin. I'm shocked that there's no vegetables in this. I mean, there's mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know why those don't count to me. But like usually chicken pot pie has like, you know, like carrots and peas in it or something. I don't know. Ow! <laughs> I touched the goop. I touched the goop, the goop's too hot. Yes, it's a little lumpy. So be it. I'm not an expert here. I also said I didn't want to scratch the bottom of my thing with a metal utensil and now I'm using a metal utensil. So I'm also a hypocrite but I'm, going, I'm being very gingerly about it. Now, this is where <laughs> the magic happens. We're gonna put the pot on our pies, the lid on our pot pies, the top of the pastry. <laughs> Place one pastry round on each dish, fold pastry under even with edge of dish. Okay. Folding with edge of dish. It doesn't really look like the picture, <laughs> but it looks like the top of a pot pie. Yay! Look at that little kiwi. Wow, they're so cute! Okay, 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 we can't get too excited yet. They're not baked yet. <laughs> Things could still go awry. Cover with aluminum foil, bake 30 minutes, remove foil, last 10 minutes. Okay. All right, tuck you guys in for a little winter's nap. Okay, this is gonna go in the oven for, like I said, about 30 minutes, and then we'll check on it. Chicken pot pie is an American classic, but did you know that the dish originated around 500 BC in ancient Greece? They called it artokreos. The Romans adapted this meal by adding a top crust, and then the meat pie was born. <laughs> of course, this ancient version was stuffed with any protein they could find, including fish, mussels, oysters, a variety of meats. Um, and then in 16th century England, they revived this ancient custom of meat pies, and the fad quickly swept the country. It was during this Elizabethan era that pot pies really started to become heavily decorated and carefully crafted as they were served at these banquets to show off the wealth of the home and the talent of the chef. Chicken pot pie moved west along with the settlers who moved to America and became a classic dish here as a cheat meal. In the 1950s, at the height of convenience food, pot pie became a household staple as a canned or frozen meal. So let's see if my decorating skills on our little chicken dinners will be enough to show off my wealth and talents. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! These good little babies are out of the oven and I'm ready to give them a taste. But first, we have to put on our chicken decorations, which turned out incredible. Excuse me. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at this one. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna put one in each of the pies. That's what's gonna happen, I guess. I don't know. Right in the X marks the spot. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute! <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's the chicken sticking up on top. <laughs> I can't even eat them because they're so perfect, they're so beautiful. But we're gonna have to take a taste. We're gonna have to taste it. I wanna know what's going on under the, under the hood. So uh, let's grab a spoon and get, get in there. <laughs> I don't wanna eat it, it's so beautiful. <laughs> but I have to try it, I have to try it. Okay, it's just so cute. <laughs> okay, Ugh. I'm gonna leave the chicken in the center and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dig in. Okay, this bite has a bit of sausage and mushroom and crust and goop. I hope there's some chicken in here. It's hot. It might be too hot. Mm. So cozy, so warm, creamy. It's just the right amount of flavor. I think making the roux with the chicken stock really just like added a level of flavor that 
I don't always see <laughs> these Betty Crocker dishes. Um, the sausage is really fun. I don't like that I have to like kind of cut it up into bite-sized pieces. I really don't know why we didn't just brown it in like crumbles. Oh, look at the steam coming off that. Oh. But the sausage is a nice like textural addition too and flavor. Wow, this is so good. I didn't really taste the mushroom, but I ate it. So it was there adding kind of like an earthiness, I guess. Wow, that was really good. That was a really good chicken pot pie recipe. Even if you don't want to go through with the little chicken decorations and the individual ramekins, you can just make a single pot pie using this recipe. And I think that like the flavor of this cream sauce and the chicken and the sausage is just working really well together. So I definitely recommend that if you want something a little easier, but man, this is good. And the pie crust worked out. It didn't, nothing wrong, nothing went wrong. <laughs> they look cute. <laughs> It worked, wow. <laughs> hmm. And I can't stop eating it. This is so good. It's so yummy. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Little chicken dinners, big energy, <laughs> big surprise. These turned out so well, they're so cute. It was a lot of effort, but I feel like for once, the effort was worth the reward. They look incredible, they're so cute. This would be perfect to make if you have guests coming over because it's like rich and cozy and elegant, but and decadent. Um, and the single serves are really cute. I just, I think it's great. I love it, I love it. Um, I think the one thing I wish it had that it's missing is some vegetables, but I also feel like you're not eating chicken pot pie to get like your daily dose of vegetables, so maybe it's okay. <laughs> Overall, really impressed with this recipe, so I gotta give it five out of five red spoons. Okay, back in the box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more single serve cozy dishes, you should watch Turkey in Stuffing Shells next. It's the perfect recipe for Thanksgiving leftovers. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, happy homemaking.